It's official. If you want to use Tinder the way its creators intended, you gotta shell out 500 big ones a month for their new premium service, Tinder Select. This chance is only being offered to 1% of users, or you can apply to earn the privilege. Does it guarantee any genuine connection with others? No, of course not, but the fact that people can dump money into an app in the hopes that it'll give them love seems a little predatory on the company's end, as it ultimately exploits insecurities about loneliness for cash. According to the company, users get the ability to send someone a message without having to match first, a prioritized position on likes you grids, early access to new features, a VIP experience, and a glaring select badge to show off membership. This means those who pay big bucks can harass someone that has no interest in them and effectively become a guinea pig for Tinder's experimental ideas. Tinder, of course, has long created a name for itself as a fairly useless app when it comes to finding partners. However, it does happen, and there are actually plenty of people who have found partners through online dating, but the concept of Tinder has become a meme for its propagation of ghosting or rooting and booting. This is why it works so well as a freemium app. As it becomes more and more difficult to find the connection one is looking for, Tinder begins hinting that your partner is right around the corner as long as you're willing to pay the big bucks. And, as it turns out, willing to pay the big bucks is what people are. In this instance, it really demonstrates the marketing technique of jacking up the price of a mid-tier product to make it seem more luxurious, and those with more money than cents will pay for it just to feel special. Wine is a brilliant example of this. You can get a decent bottle at a reasonable price, but sellers or restaurants will always include a ridiculously expensive option to either make the others seem even more reasonable, or they make it for people who feel they have something to prove by buying the most lavish option. Those who sign up to Tinder Select don't seem likely to be any more special than the average Joe, as just having more money than others doesn't really make you any better than anyone else. It will either attract people looking for money, or those who are so desperate for human connection they will try anything to get it. In short, the launch of Tinder Select feels like a cynical move from a company that sells itself on love, as if monetizing one of the most human of experiences is the best way to improve their reputation as a portal for hookups. What meme would you guys like me to give a lesson in next? Let me know in the comments below. And remember, like and subscribe! <laughs>